ordered so many drawers. Let's hope they fits in here and that my measurements are correct. And I'm really excited, but I'm also very sad. I'm so surprised at how easy this is. And my fingers are hurting. Today's the day my IKEA cabinets are finally coming, or well, one set of them anyway, and I'm so excited because they're the main part of where all my photo storage is going to be. So let's patiently wait for the truck driver to arrive and then let's unpack all the IKEA goodies. There's nothing missing, so that's perfect. The only thing is the two doors that I couldn't get in the original sale of it. Uh, so I've got to wait until they come back in stock so I might Eli those. The funny thing about that is I got a notification about it and I went on there within five minutes of getting that email and they're already sold out. So I'm going to have to be like, poor guy for those doors to finish off this. We have popped them into piles of each base cabinet so that we can make one at a time and build them and configure them as we go. And yeah, it's going to be a big task building all the things, but let's get into it. It's getting dark now. I have finished almost all of the base cabinets. There's one to go. Uh, so tomorrow I'll probably start by lining them up on the wall, making sure my measurements are correct. And then it'll be drawing cupboard time after they're mounted onto the wall. But fresh in the morning, starting off with the last cabinet and then adding them to the walls. Because the shed is so unlevel, it's going to be tricky to put the mounting bracket on. We're not even really sure how we're going to do that. So line them up first and make sure they all fit. I'm so nervous about this little gap here that those cabinets are about to go in now. But I'm hoping I did my measurements correct so that the next one will swap in here and then I'll have a more shallow one that will go around this and then it goes back to normal. You'll see what I mean in a second, but Let's hope they fit in here and that my measurements are correct. So as you can see there, there's some dead space, but when the top goes over the top, you won't see that dead space. Yeah, the only reason was because they, this gap, I couldn't get something that would fit in between there from Ikea that would match the whole aesthetic of it. And so yeah, just working around that. to each other they're all pretty level we've got the end pieces on so yeah we'll add the tops now and then it's time to put all the drawers and fronts and cupboards on Wolfies can you move out of the way actually <laughs> the 
We're just trying to figure out, we've got three bits of wood, we're going to cover the whole bit with excess. We're trying to figure out where the joints are going to go. So it doesn't look all mixed match here, it sort of looks like there's a big streamlined plank for and lots of little cuts everywhere. So we're just trying to figure that out. But we think we're going to put the smaller one in that back corner, this bigger one here, and then cut out the little rectangle to slot it in. And then the last piece, we're going to make a piece for here, and then a piece for that end bit there. And I think that that will make it the least amount of joints and the least close together joints so it looks nice. And so we have most of the bench tops up except for the piece that we need to cut up for this end and that end to make up the complete bench top. And yesterday I finished the night off by making up the first drawer and the furthest covered door just to make sure I knew how to do the hinges and the drawer if I could actually do it myself because I'm working myself for most of the rest of it. Uh, and yeah, they were really easy. I'm so surprised at how easy this is. It's looking so nice. I'm loving the aesthetic and the finish of this. I've got to put handles on these as well, but yeah, it's all coming together a lot quicker than I thought. So yeah, I'll get to it today and hopefully finish off making all the drawers. I'm literally at it all day building drawers and my fingers are hurting <laughs> my hands are hurting from screwing in all the screws so I thought I would bring it up and do some of the door hinges and maybe call it a day after that because this takes a lot longer than I thought it would uh, the drawers actually were quite time consuming I did have it going on like some kind of a conveyor belt of drawer making but it still took so long, I put in so many drawers. And I'm not regretting it. I'm feeling the pain today, but I, I think it'll be worth it because you might have seen that gross of eight, eight drawers. And that's why I don't have to buy a mat plan drawer. And it's gonna store my packing materials, all of that. So um, that's why I've got so many drawers, because they're for different purposes. But I can't get this open. I've got to open so easy before. Um, so yeah, that's why it was cheaper to get that than a map pen drawer and it's also able to be like inbuilt and I don't have this separate phone charger which gives me more space for other things. So that's the reason for all the drawers. But yeah, I'm gonna pop in some hinges on these, get them ready and then once all the top's on, I can put all the tracks and everything in and finish it. Finish it? Yeah, maybe in a day or two. We'll see. To the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late. To let it go, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed, and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. We had a good run, don't say we didn't. 
I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies, yeah. Promise I won't forget. So, the cupboards and the drawers are done for the most part. The hands have gone on. They look really, really good. The next thing I want to do is get some shelves on this wall behind me. It will be essentially similar to the studio I'm working from now, where I'll have all the glazes and bottles of paint on one set of shelves. And then on the other side of this metal pole, you can just see it, this metal pole will be shelves again, but that will be for my work, it's drying, it's waiting to be fired, all of that. So yeah, I'm gonna store those shelves and start moving in. One more thing that kind of looks a bit unfinished, but I've started to really like it, is this open cupboard. There was meant to be a door for this, but it was out of stock when I ordered from Ikea. And I didn't notice at the time when buying from Ikea, when you buy a kitchen unit, if something's out of stock, you don't go on back order, or it doesn't go on pre-order. You have to just wait for it to come back in stock, which happened to one of the other doors that came back in stock like straight away. But this one came back in stock today, but I kind of like it open. And I'm thinking about putting some books or even putting a curtain here to sort of break up all the light. Wish you the best and say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. So oh, maybe bye. It's for the best and you know why. You gotta leave me here right now. Before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt. finished the shelves behind me which means it's finally time to move my shelves from that studio to this studio and I'm really excited but I'm also very sad because it means the end of that studio and it means moving and changing and of course into a better space and a bigger space but that space meant so much to me so it's a little bit sad yeah let's move some things just pulled the table out of the studio and because it's going into its permanent home I'm actually going to sand off the top and recoat it with oil just because I know it'll be a long time before I have it this empty and this clean again.
you're probably wondering why I have this old pink fridge and why I'm using it when it's so heavy. The reason for the pink fridge is I'm actually flipping it into a little cupboard system. I needed a fridge because it's already insulated and it acts as a sort of refrigeration system despite it being turned on for my bags of clay. It's actually a really good hack for potters to put their bags of clay in a styrofoam box or in an esky, but I thought I'd like to have it a bit more of a feature cupboard and have it like the clay fridge. So I've got this old fridge that I found for $100 on Gumtree and yeah, I'm gonna flip it into a cabinet. Okay, that is a wrap for this studio vlog. I will show you a bit of what has been in place and what you can see at the moment. The cabinetry underneath me is for the packing. So I'll hopefully get a packing table that I can put in front of this so I can pack all the orders for both the Moldy Biscuits Paint Your Pottery Kits and also my artwork. So all of this stuff in here is for packing. And then over the other side where all the pottery shelves are is where I'm pouring, working, glazing. I'll probably get another table and turn it into a slip casting table because that is something I've always wanted is a slip casting table where it's got a track in the middle so I can pour mold straight out over the top. It helps with doing the bigger molds and I'm willing to be getting a bigger kiln. So that should hopefully be in the next video. As the space is set up on that end, that's just temporary until I can get the shelves, get all that sorted. Cause I can't really set anything else up until I know where the shelves sort of sit to know how the space feels. I am really stoked with how it feels. I'm really happy with how it feels. I love how light and beautiful it is. Watching back the footage, you can just see the difference in the lighting. It's just astronomical. It's so much darker in there and I didn't even realize until filming in here and seeing them side by side. 
it's just going to be such a lovely space to create in and so much potential already have been able to make so much more work than what I would have been able to make in that space with the only few weeks that I've been in here. I don't know how to put it into words other than I feel like I'm at home finally. I feel like this is where I'm meant to be. I have a few more things that I want to purchase and a few more things I need to make and DIY and flip and source. I really want to do a nice gallery wall behind the couch. I've got this really cool idea that I can't wait to show you. You'll probably see it on my other socials first is that I am building my desk out of an old door with some dried flowers. So that's all I'm going to give you. But I'm really excited to see how that looks. But yeah, I'm just going to enjoy working in here for a little while as I save up some more funds to finish off the space. I'm just feeling so relieved and thankful and I feel like this is a studio I could only ever dream of. So thank you so much for purchasing my art, supporting my small business, so for watching my YouTube. It means so, so much. Uh, it's very minimal what I get paid from YouTube, but it just makes such a big difference. I wouldn't be here without you. And I just, <laughs> this is because of you. So thank you so, so much. I, I'm just gonna enjoy the space. Until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more pottery videos. Bye.